Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to upload file or image with Vue JavaScript using PHP script. We all know file upload is one of the basic requirement in web application. So in Vue JavaScript tutorial series, here we have learned how to upload file using Vue JavaScript with PHP. In this tutorial, we have used Axios package for send Ajax request for uploading file. We will send selected file using form data object. In this video tutorial, you can find step by step process for upload file using Vue JavaScript with PHP script. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our working folder. And in this index file, we have already included bootstrap library, view javascript and axios package link. After this, in html code, here in this division tag, we have write id is equal to upload app. We will use this ID to define view application element. Next, we have write input type is equal to file, and reference attribute is equal to file. Here we have used reference attribute is equal to file, forget the selected file in view script. For upload selected file, here we have write button type is equal to button, at the rate click directive is equal to upload image function. And in button text, we have write upload image, so when we have click on upload button, then it will call the upload image function, which will upload selected file in upload folder. After this, we have write division tag, with view html directive is equal to uploaded image. Under this tag, we will display uploaded image file. In this application, for display success or alert message, here we have use bootstrap alert class. So here we have write. Division tag with view if directive is equal to success alert. If this directive value is equal to true, then this tag will be visible on web page. Otherwise it will be hide. Under this tag, we have write anchor tag with class is equal to close. And at the rate click directive is equal to success alert is equal to false. So by click on this anchor tag, it will hide this success alert division tag from web page. For display success message under this division tag, we have write to curly bracket, and between this we have write success message placeholder data. Same way for display error message, here we have write division tag, with view if directive is equal to error alert, this tag will be visible on web page, if this error alert value is equal to true. Under this tag, we have write anchor tag with class is equal to close, and at the rate click directive is equal to Error alert is equal to false. So by click on this anchor tag, it will hide this error alert division tag from web page. And for display error message under this division tag, we have write to curly bracket, and between this we have write error message placeholder data. Now we have moved to write view JavaScript code. So here we have write application variable is equal to new view object. 
Under this, first we have write element option, and here we have define division tag id upload app. This element will bind the new view object to HTML element. After this, we have write data option. Here we can define application placeholder data value. So first we have write file variable with blank value. After this, we have write success alert with false value. It will hide success alert message from web page. Same way for hide error alert message. Here we have write error alert variable with false value. Lastly in data, we have write uploaded image with blank value. Next, we have write methods option. Here we will define this application method. Under this, we have write upload method with callback function. This method will be called if user has click on upload button. Under this method, we have first write application dot file variable is equal to application dot dollar reference variable dot file dot files with zero index. Here it will store selected file under this application dot file variable. Next, we have write form data variable is equal to new form data object. Here we have use form data object for send selected file to PHP script. In this form data variable, we want to append selected file. So here we have write form data variable dot append method with two argument. In first argument, we have write file. And in second argument we have write application dot file. Here we have append selected file in this form data object. Now we have write axios dot post method with three argument. In first argument, we have write upload dot php. It will send request to this file. In second argument, we have defined which data we want send to Axios request. So here we have send form data variable, in which we have store selected file. And third argument, we have write header option, with content type property set to multi part form data, this for upload file. After this, we have write then callback function. This function will be called if request completed successfully and it will receive data in JSON format. Under this function, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write response dot data dot image is equal to blank. If this condition true, that means there is any error occur during uploading of image file. Under this block, we have write application dot error alert is equal to true. It will display error alert division tag on web page. Below this, we have write application dot success alert is equal to false. It will hide success alert division tag from web page. For display error message under error alert division tag, here we have write application dot error message is equal to response dot data dot message. For hide success message, here we have write application dot success message is equal to blank value. Same way for remove uploaded image. Here we have write application dot uploaded image is equal to blank value.
but suppose above condition falls, an image uploaded successfully, then it will execute else block of code. Under this block, we have write application dot error alert is equal to false. It will hide error alert division tag from web page. For display success alert division tag, we have write application dot success alert is equal to true. For hide error message, here we have write application dot error message is equal to blank value. For display success message, here we have write application dot success message is equal to response dot data dot message. Now we have write image HTML variable is equal to image tag with source is equal to response dot data dot image. It will display uploaded image. Now we want to display uploaded image on web page. Here we have write application dot uploaded image is equal to image HTML variable. It will display uploaded image on web page. For clear file tag value, here we have write application dot dollar reference variable dot file dot value is equal to bank value. It will clear selected file value from input file tag. Now we have go to upload.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function. Under this function, we have write dollar files file name variable, if this variable value is set then, it will execute if block of code. If above condition falls, then it will execute else block of code. And here we have write dollar message variable is equal to select image. But suppose above condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar image name variable is equal to dollar files file name variable. Here we have store selected file name. Next, we have write dollar valid extensions variable is equal to allowed extensions in array format. For selected file extension, we have write dollar extension variable is equal to path info function with two argument. In first argument, we have write dollar image name variable, and in second argument, we have write path info extension. It will return selected file extension. Now we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write in array function with two argument. In first argument, we have write dollar extension variable. And in second argument, we have write dollar valid extensions variable. If selected file extension is not found under dollar valid extensions variable, then it will execute else block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar message variable is equal to only dot jpg dot jpeg and dot png image allowed to upload but suppose selected file extension found in dollar valid extensions variable then it will execute if block of code and here we have write dollar upload path variable is equal to upload folder name slash time function with dollar extension variable here we have make new file name, 
with complete upload path. Now we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write move uploaded file, with two argument, in first argument, we have write dollar files file temporary name variable, and in second argument we have write dollar upload path variable. If selected file successfully uploaded, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar message variable is equal to image uploaded. And below this, we have write dollar image variable is equal to dollar upload path variable. But there is any error occur during image uploading, then it will execute else block of code. And here we have write dollar message variable is equal to there is an error while uploading image. Now here we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write message, and in value we have write dollar message variable. And in second key, we have write image, and in value we have write dollar image variable. So, here we have store data in array format. Now send this data to Axios request in JSON format. So here we have write echo statement with JSON encode function with dollar $output variable. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends. Here we can see when page has been load in browser, then we can see file tag with upload button on web page. First we want to check validation, so here we have directly click on upload button. After click on upload button, here we can see error message like select image on web page. After this, we have again click on file tag and select non-image file and click on upload button. After click on upload button, here we can see error message like only JPG and PNG image format image allowed to upload error message on web page. So, here our validation working properly. Now we have again click on file tag and select image from local computer. After select image, we have click on upload button. After click on upload button, here we can see image upload success message appear on web page. And below file tag, we can see uploaded image on web page. And so in this video tutorial, we have seen how to upload file using Vue JavaScript with PHP script. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box. Or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends. Or even you can also share on social media also.